Good afternoon. My name is Nate McGraw. I'm the uh, High Horsepower Product Specialist for Case IH for the Midwest region of North America. Um, what we're doing here today, we're at Commodity Classic. We're launching the new AFS Connect Steiger. So bringing this uh, technology pack machine right along point with the Magnum that we launched last year, bringing this to market. So what we've got here today is the simulator seat to be able to kind of go through and show some of this technology. If you have you come around here, um, I'll kind of walk through some of the different stuff we've got here. So <clears throat> right off the bat, you see a totally different monitor, new armrest, multifunction handle, color-coded uh, EHR levers, uh, a lot of different buttons. So what we're really trying to show here is what we, we're continuing the freedom campaign, if you will, on this as far as giving the customers the freedom to farm the way they want, right? So the ability to come in here and set this machine up how you want to run it and then letting your hired man or whether it be the, you know, another partner come in and, and make the changes to it as well so where you can farm this or run this machine <clears throat> safely and how you want to run it. So to kind of step through some of this stuff, we'll start talk about guidance right off the bat. So you come into your run screen for guidance and what you see here is some neat stuff. You can, you can twist, zoom, pan out, spin it around, whatever you want to do. You can see the graphics are very, very uh, on point. Um, and we, we've got set up here as a, I believe a 24 row planner on 30 inch centers. So when we talk about guidance, <clears throat> that's one of the three pieces necessary for guidance to work is the size of the implement tool, right? It'll be anatomically correct. So when I'm still on here with 24 inch, or I'm sorry, 24 row planner, when you come up here and come into your implement and the measurements, I can come in here and very quickly change that to a 16 row, keep my 30 inch centers, it changes my implement width, you go back to guidance. Now the lines are closer together and the tool itself has changed. So it's, it's a very nice uh, feature to be able to understand a little more real time of what, what the machine is you're doing and how you're doing it with. So um, coming down back into here, um, let me back up a second. So for guidance standpoint, <clears throat> as we're going along here, and again, the machine will start moving. Um, when we go in here, set lines, you know, guidance is something that's very important. Everybody uses it today. So the ability for somebody to get in and set guidance very quickly and, and easily is very important. This system is incredibly simple and intuitive to use. Start out with a swath manager up here. <clears throat> that brings up the different lines that we, that we can run. For example, straight, which is your AB or a heading. And I'm gonna select heading, for example. It will always drop a line in the direction the hood is facing. You can obviously come in here and type it in if you wanna put a specific one or you can grab this compass and move it around and you see it'll project a different line. So if you don't really care what lines you're running on, you just want to run against your rows or across your rows, you can select that. Your new guidance lines come in, you engage your guidance, and now we're farming. So very simple to do, very easy to walk through and set this up to where, again, doesn't matter if you're very, very experienced with it or whether you're first time getting in it, you can really get through this pretty quickly, very easily. Um, from the setup of the tractor and the customization. Now granted, this is, this is a Magnum simulator, but when you come in here, I already talked about the implement as far as setting up your different implements and you can have different stuff to where you can come in, you can uh, have a disc, you can have uh, application equipment, whatever it may be, and it'll actually change the tool to look very similar to what you're running. From the tractor standpoint, setup wise, you come in this tractor card, and it brings you up to your settings page. Uh, a lot of this stuff will be pre-populated based on like serial number, stuff like that. But uh, everything you can do in this tractor, you can operate through the monitor. You don't have to, but you can. For example, this is the HVAC system. We have the HVAC controls up in the headliner. We've got buttons of how to get here through the armrest as well. But if you're on the screen directly, here it is. It's all right here. You can set your, you can set your temperature, you can set your fans. The nice thing about it is, we paired with our partners at FCA, Fiat Chrysler, and there's a lot of automotive feature type air conditioning qualities in this machine. It's no longer just a blast from the front. We're getting true circulation because we're getting the front blast, we're getting side blast, and we're getting the blast from the floor. So we're truly circulating air in this cab. Um, the lights, this is something really, really, uh, guys are very fond of. They think it's a really neat feature. So let's hypothetically say we're in a com uh, combine situation and you've got all your lights turned on. Now, again, this is a simulator, so when I touch these, they don't turn on in the tractor and it's gonna turn blue and be like illuminated. But you turn all these on, so they're all blue. You push and hold this memory one. It asks, do you wanna save this current selection? You hit okay. Then 
you can turn off two, eight, and four, and then push and hold this memory two, and you've got two different settings. So if you ask most combine operators, what do you complain about at night when you're, when you're combining? They always say, when the guy comes up to unload on, he blinds me. So you can have these two different memory settings set up. And again, I talk about programmability of this tractor. You come here to the configurable controls, and we'll start with the buttons. I can come in here and I can program these buttons, for example, number six, come down to lights and do this memory one, two toggle. By doing that, when I push this button, again, the simulator it won't work, but in the tractor, as I pull up to catch that combine, I push that button, my right side lights turn off. I've got lights out the front to be able to see and safely operate. I'm not blinding my combine driver. As soon as I pull out after I've, after I've done loading, or after he's done loading on me, I hit the button, my lights come back on. Very cool feature. That was an example of setting the different programmable buttons. We've got a silver strip of four buttons here. We have four buttons here. It can be any functional feature or comfort feature of the tractor. Again, functional feature from locking your suspended front axle out to um, comfort features of turning the volume of the radio up or turning the HVAC system up. Really, it's anything that's any feature of this tractor you can set up from a uh, programmable standpoint. The other thing that's really neat about this tractor is the levers. So it brings up our different EHR levers, our electronic hydraulic remote valves. Notice they're color coordinated, red, blue, yellow, green. Those are the four I'm gonna really focus on. Everybody likes to farm different. There's no set way to farm. I think anybody that's watching this video or listening to this would agree with that. There's no one way to do a thing. What this does is this gives you the freedom to set this tractor up how you want to, not only from an operational standpoint, from a safety standpoint as well. If you get in this machine, typically what everybody will start doing is start pulling EHR levers to see what does what. My dad is the kind of guy, he likes this button right here to be the, the most commonly used function. So a raise lower, for example. I like to be over here. It's just my personal preference. I know from a tactical feel, if I'm looking out the tractor, this is where I'm going to raise and lower a tool. So instead of having to get out of the machine and swap hoses now, I can reassign this. So I'm going to reassign, for example, rear valve six to rear valve one. And what I want you to pay attention to is we're purple here and red here. That goes red, that goes unassigned. So now I've changed which assignment this, this remote lever will do. The really neat thing about this is all the customization and stuff you can do on here, you can set up a profile so when you get in the machine, you can basically revert it back to what you had it before, not have to spend the time making the different adjustments. Uh, for example, you come back up here, and I'm gonna reassign this to number one. We've got these, and again, you can just reassign different levers and reassign everything to where the colors will follow it as well. So that's also, you have an, an indicator of what lever does what. Um, some other really neat features of this tractor, I mean, there's a ton of them but uh, this is a really cool one the steering rate we have the ability to change the steering rate of this tractor now based on the the amount of flow through that steering valve so for example in the slow rate when the tires are all the way your steer tires are all the way to the right and you want to sweep them all the way to the left it's one two three and a half turns to go full sweep right to left you change it to fast with the push of a button and that three and a half that same distance goes to a little over one so we're changing that rate so depending on the application and the operator, how they are farming, if you're making light bulb turns at the end, you're making a lot of steering wheel movements, you're going to put this in fast and your movements from this are going to go to this. And if you're a guy who's you know, making some wider passes, you can leave it in medium or slow, depending on how you want to run it. So just some of the different stuff that you can do with this tractor specifically. Now, when we start talking about the data transfer um, through telematics, which is really, really pretty cool, <clears throat> this happens over here and it's happening in the background at all times. But what's really neat about this is, for example, if you, uh, you get into a situation where you're in bad cell service and you do your field and then you get out and you get your cell service back, you can manually push it. And it won't actually overwrite anything that's there. It'll just basically put an additional copy in there. So you're just giving that peace of mind that your, your data is there where you want it to be. Um, talked about being able to set up different profiles. Another really cool thing about this tractor is the offboard capabilities. So with this, it's got some different uh, codes active on the simulator. What this can do from a dealership perspective, 
the dealership can remote in now and it can it can look at a code and say oh, that's no big deal we'll go ahead and clear it and move forward or yeah you know we need to get a technician out there with some parts to get this changed it's improving that process right you're improving or you're increasing efficiency you're decreasing downtime which is obviously money for the for the customer the ability to remote in here and be able to help fix these tractors if there are issues again especially if a dealer is 50 plus miles away that's just time saved and that's obviously a big a big advantage um, we have the ability to as well, being this is a new monitor, do what we call RDV, which is remote display viewing. So whether it be from a tablet or whether it be from a computer, you can, if you have access, so whether you're from a dealer or whether you're a trusted partner of the customer, and that's a big part of it from this standpoint of the data is your data. You choose who you want to partner with, who you want to share it with. We as a company have no visibility to it. Um, you're as a, you as a customer are the one who's making that decision as far as who gets visibility to it. And as far as sharing that information, it's very easy, whoever you want to pick, to make those basically invitations to an agronomist or to a co-op or whoever is going to be viewing that. But from that, from the standpoint of uh, the RDV standpoint, if they have access, they can send a request. You'll get a notification on the screen that says so-and-so wants to view your screen. You can re accept it or reject it. You reject it, it goes away. If you accept it, there will be an orange box that will populate around the screen itself. And what that does is that's an indicator to the person in the cab that somebody's viewing the screen. The person on the tractor side can terminate at any time. The person on the who's making the request from the tablet or from the computer from a dealership perspective or whoever it may be can terminate at any time. But what it does is it links it up to where it's a live view of the monitor. So for example, new monitor, not everybody's overly familiar with it. While, while be it, it is very intuitive. If you have a question of, hey, you know, how does this work or how do I get this to work? You can call your dealer and they can say, hey, let me remote in real quick. And then they can actually physically step you through and say, hey, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna push this menu button. And then you're gonna go into your tractor card and you're wanting to maybe make some adjustments to your remotes. Go to remotes, come over here, hit this plus sign and you're wanting to make a change to remote number two. You come in here, open up number two and then there's your change that you can make. So again, it's, it's just connecting the whole solution, right? Um, very high level. That's kind of a walkthrough of the, of the monitor itself. Again, all the customization, the, the multifunction handle, I didn't really talk too much about, but this has been ergonomically redesigned. And this is something that people that get in this tractor, especially guys that, that aren't used to our multifunction handle, they absolutely love it. The ability to run this tractor from a handle and never have to take your hand off is really incredible. You can do about 80, 90% of all tractor functions through this, for example. Um, you get in the machine and you're back in, let's say you've got an inline mounted three point uh, ripper or a three point mounted inline ripper and you're backing it into a corner. You can hit the shuttle shift forward button, which is going to immediately change direction, which will safely bring the tractor to a stop and then change direction. So you hit the shuttle shift and drop your tool, your three point mount button. By the time the tractor stops, that tool is going to be on the ground and it starts to pull away. You're just, you're just making that that much more efficient. So that's something that guys really like about it. The handle itself, again, has been ergonomically redesigned, so you rest your hand here, and then you rest your thumb on the gear selector or the speed selector for a CVX. You've got a dedicated guidance button, your four programmable buttons, your hitch button, raise and lower, and then you've got two programmable uh, EHR levers as well. So, again, the ability to come to the end of the field, hit this button, raise your tool, turn around, hit this button, drop your tool, depending on what you're doing. Never have to take your hand off the multifunction handle. Um, guys really seem to like that. So that's a very high level of, uh, of the new operating system uh, from the Pro 1200 monitor and the new armrest itself with multifunction handles.